Hi, in this short video we will take a look at a few new features in Naviate Structure 2026.1. All these new features are in relation to the detailing and presentation of reinforcement. As you can see here, I have a large RC slab with four layers of rebar. We also have U-bars and L-bars, so the L-bars around the opening of the slab here and we have U-bars around the perimeter of the slab. The first improvement I'd like to show you is in relation to our rebar placement tool. Previously, we could only detect the rebar layer for straight reinforcement. We can now detect a layer for all shapes that actually have a logical layer to be fixed in. For example, the L-bars here are fixed in layer B1 and B2. However, the U-bars on the perimeter of the slab have exactly the same leg length on A and C and hence could be fixed at the top or the bottom of the slab, so Naviate would ignore those. OK, so let's go ahead and see how this tool works. So we'll select Rebar Placement. In the Rebar Placement dialog, we can either do all of the rebars in the active view, all the rebars in the entire project, or the selected rebars. So in this case, I'm going to do all of them in the project. And we can see here that 52 rebar sets have now been updated. So to visualise this a little bit easier, we'll go ahead and use Colour Rebar. So on the Rebar tab, I can select Colour Rebar. For the parameter here, we can go ahead and use uh, NV Rebar Placement. Okay. And now we can see those layers being presented. To make it a bit easier to identify these layers, I'm going to change the B1 layer to yellow. And we'll go ahead and add those view filters. And then close down our colour rebar dialog. So now we can very clearly see that our rebar placement has also worked on rebars that have bent shapes. So you can see here the L bars are sitting in B1. And of course in the opposite axis they're sitting on B2. However, if we go ahead and look at the U-bars on the perimeter of the slab, you can see that these aren't uh, identified at all because, as we've said, the A and C leg are exactly the same. OK, let's look at the next new feature. So looking at the plan view of this slab, the next thing I'd like to do is prepare this for detailing. So that normally means we want to show one bar from each of the rebar ranges. Now, using the standard Autodesk tool, because we have top and bottom reinforcement here, we'd end up with the two bars being directly on top of each other, i.e. the B1 bar and the T1 bar would be in exactly the same location. Of course, we could use our more traditional tool here, which would be rebar presentation, but that means we've got to go through and select every single bar uh, in each set manually. So we've got a new tool that we've created here called multi-rebar presentation. And this solves all of those problems I've just discussed. So clicking this tool here, we can see in one pick, all of those rebars are now presented very nicely. So we can see here, we have the offset for the top and bottom bars, so they're not directly on top of each other. And we can very easily identify where the re reinforcement laps. Let's just take a look at this now with some detailing. So I'm just gonna place in some multi-rebar annotations. So we'll select one of these bars. Okay, and we'll go ahead and place down the tags so we can see how much easier it is now to actually start to then detail out this slab. Okay, so that's a really good addition. Another new function we have is specifically for the UK. So you can see here I have a section going all the way through the slab. So let's just go and open up that section and we can see here that we have all of those rebars in cross section. Now it's quite difficult to actually see where these rebars start and end. For example, if I select this U-bar over here, we can see when it's selected the ends of the rebar, but looking at it like this, it's really, really difficult. So in the UK, we have something called rebar ticks, and you can see in Naviate Structure 2026.1, we now have rebar tick tool. So first thing we'll do is look at the settings, and in the settings here, we can actually identify the type of family we want to use for our tick. Of course, that means you can customise it. But in this case here, I'm just going to use the standard 2.5mm tick. And then I can just go ahead and click the rebar tick tool. And we can see here that Naviate then adds a tick to all the ends of rebars. So coming across to the other side and looking at perhaps that L bar over here, we can see really easily where that L bar now starts and ends. Of course, if the tick goes in the wrong direction, we can just very easily manipulate that. 
If all of the ticks were in the wrong direction, we could flip them all, uh, or the selected ones that we wanted. We could also update as well. So let's make a change to this L bar. So I'm going to change the leg length of this, and perhaps we'll make it 1500 by 1500. So obviously now we can see that's changed, but of course we want to now update our ticks. So we can just go back through here and click update. And very easily now we can see those ticks have now very quickly updated across the entire view. So that's a really good addition for the UK market. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that and see you in the next video.